Dino. I want a Flintstones film. <laughs> I got the the last Flintstones film they ever did, and it pissed me off. It pissed me off to the point where I was ready to. I I fired several mean tweets to the point where I got blocked by Warner Brothers Animation on Twitter. (laughs) I was pissed and angry about it. And it was the Flintstones meet WWE. Why? Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> is basically one of the questions I asked. Nobody asked for Flintstones meets WWE. The same way as people who, you know, or people who watch Fox. Nobody wanted WWE on, you know, SmackDown on Fridays. The wrestling boom period is over. It was over when when WWE bought WCW. It was basically dead and buried and gone and over. Nobody wanted any more of it. It doesn't matter who you get on television. It's the same way as Elizabeth Banks wanting to do a fucking Flintstones reboot for adult audiences. Guess what? They tried it with Seth MacFarlane. It failed. It failed. And the last time they ever talked about a, a Flintstones, I don't know how we went on the Flintstones, but I love the Flintstones. Yabba dabba do. The last time they ever talked about doing a Flintstones live action was when Will Ferrell and Adam McKay were in talks of writing and producing it. I want to see that. I like Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell is a funny dude. I think if you got him and John C. Riley as Fred and Barney and you got... Uh, trying to think of her name. She played Lola Bunny on uh, the Looney Tunes show. What's her name? Kristen Wiig. If you got Kristen Wiig as Wilma. And and you got um Christina Applegate as Betty. It'd be a good film. If if I heard those four names in it, I'd be like, I want to see this film. It would be entertaining. It would be a great comedy, entertaining movie. And that was the thing I was missing in Lego Movie 2, was Will Ferrell. That's what was missing. (laughs) I think honestly, if you got those four in a you know Flintstones film, I would go see it. I would like it. It would be a great film. I'm disappointed that they haven't moved forward with the film because you know it'd be one of those films I'd watch. It's kind of weird though because. I buy Flintstone cereal, <laughs> which is uh, Fruity Pebbles, but I buy Cocoa Pebbles because I like Cocoa Pebbles better. I eat dry cereal because I'm allergic to milk, so I can't, you know, drink milk because I get, you know, if I do, I start throwing up. So, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but I, you know... I still want to see a Flintstones film, so 
One thing that piqued my interest was this one really saddened me. And there's one place I always wanted to go to my entire life was Bedrock City in, in South Dakota. In South Dakota, they had the Flintstones Bedrock City 62-acre six, theme park campground in South Dakota in the Black Hills. It was a campground themed the Flintstones. And it was like the one place I always wanted to go to. You got to go to this theme park. And they had a, you know, a working movie cinema. Um, Basically the entire campground was the Flintstones. You're in Bedrock City. And they have, like, swimming pools, laundry, arcade room, grocery store, putt-putt golf, play, uh, playground, bathhouses, I don't know why, but uh, camping cabins. And the cabins were like the rock-shaped houses, like the Flintstones. And they had the Flintstones mobile, the Flintmobile, where you could, you know, drive around and it was really fucking cool. And I remember seeing it. I was just like, I want to go there. But recently it was announced that they closed the park in 2019. And that is like the one thing that was on my bucket list I always wanted to go to. And now it's gone. It really saddens me because it was just like, that is one thing I wanted to go see my entire life. And stay at it was a fucking bedrock city. And it's closed down and gone. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? What is that was like the one thing. As messed up as it sounds, that was like the one thing I wanted to go to. And one place I wanted to really stay at. And now it's gone and now I don't know what I want to do (laughs) as heartbreaking as that sounds they had like two operations they had one in Arizona and one in South Dakota and they're both closed Oh, there is one. There's one in Williams, Arizona. It's still open for oh for the summer of 2019. It costs five dollars per person to get in. Both have been operate operations in decades. Bedrock City, known as Flintstones Park, is closed. Oh, closed in 2015. <sighs> Shit. Anyway, I did read the Flintstones comic. I I have all the issues. Same way as the Scooby Doo one. Like I, I really enjoyed it because you know it's different. It's something I really enjoyed. By the way, I was answering a question. Um, yeah, yeah. I did see the Flintstones with John Goodman. I don't watch it that much anymore, because it's kind of cheesy and... (laughs) It's kind of cheesy and stuff. It's like, once you watch it, you're like... Yeah. (laughs) But the cast was good in it. Like, they had the... 
they had the good cast. They, um, you know, they had they had the you know Rick Moranis was perfect as Barney, and John Goodman was basically Fred Flintstone to begin with. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell's a crazy ass bitch, so <laughs> I I used to like Rosie O'Donnell, but now I just can't fucking stand her. She reminds me of a person I work with who I just fucking hate. <laughs> I had to deal with her today, so yeah, you know, it was just I I was fucking annoyed. I just wanted I was ready to like quit and walk out. I was just like I was fucking done with the day. <laughs> but now I'm I'm in a good mood, so I just I don't like Rosie O'Donnell. I think she's a very disrespectful woman. She she's basically like a person. I never seen a person that is so is really a magnet for negativity and hatred. Who just wants to start a fight with everybody. It's like nobody's in the mood for fighting anymore. So, yeah. I did play the... Uh, they did have a Flintstones game. They they had it on the iOS and Android. Where you basically build your own Bedrock City. It's like the Simpsons Tap, I think is what it's called. And it was really cool. Like, I really loved it because it was like, you get to build your own bedrock city and you go on these adventures and stuff. And I wish they would do that. I wish they'd bring it back because I really enjoyed it. Um, as it comes to, like, iOS and Android games, I really haven't played any. I played the zombie a zombie one. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. I played Fortnite once and I suck at it. <laughs> I'm not good at Fortnite, so I, I I heard about they shut down, and a lot of people got so pissed and angry. And it's really weird, though, because it's like, I think they brought it back now. I think it recently came back where they're doing, like, Fortnite Chapter 2 or something. So, <clears throat> I'm happy for them, you know. Kids can play their Fortnite, and parents can you know, play Fortnite with their kids. I really don't play Fortnite. <laughs> the the only you know the only games I really play are Arkham the Arkham video games and I I haven't played um I know a lot of people ask me like if I'm gonna play WWE WWE 2K20, and the answer is no. I really don't want to play WWE 2K20. I I basically I basically once said like I I'm not gonna buy it because the last time I bought a WWE 2K video game was was the 19, and I was extremely Extremely disappointed with it. Because I had hopes for like the the next ones, which was I was hoping they would do my GM mode for it. And I wanted to play the GM mode where you can like run the show deal with the roster, set up, you know, set up your own roster, you know, do the draft. And they could still do it. They could do it for the iOS and Android. Which would be cool because you get to do like superstar meetings and you get to do trades. You get to really be the GM. Like you run the show, you run the matches, you get to set up matches. You create, you know, superstars from, you know, NXT and up. Like, it would be a great fucking video game. And I would enjoy it. You know, I love simulation video games. I or I, I play The Sims 3. Uh, I recently got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. 
which is you get a, you have your own theme park, water park, and zoo, which I really enjoy. 